you can tell with the way that I'm turning the saber that I'm trying to set myself up for something. I do that a lot. I went in for that Wecker Howl. I thought it would catch you off guard. I think I've just done it too much at this point, so you know what's coming. That one scared me because you went for my hand. I can't believe I didn't hit your hand there. You tried so hard to go for my hand, I would have hurt. It was our first time using the arm guards with the Gambesons, so we're trying to get used to that. Uh, we have a competition we're planning on going to here soon, so we're trying to get used to fighting in like full gear. I did a thing there that I tend to do where I go to fake you out, but I don't let you take the bait before I commit to the attack. I just assume you're going to do it. I need to be careful with moving like that. I'm going to blow out my knee. Unless you do that a lot where you smack my blade around anytime I'm like holding it forward. I'm just trying to interrupt your like train of thought as much as possible. Yeah, you used to do a thing where you would slowly inch closer and closer, and then you would just like lunge at me and just get an easy hit off. I'm working on uh, not keeping my blade at long point as much as possible, because that's usually how you get hit off on me. I love this hit. I love. I, it's actually a technique that we learned in Dussac um, that's usually performed a little bit differently, uh, but it's the same general concept with the stopping the blade on one end and just turning it and cutting. Yeah, actually, I didn't see it coming. I really didn't think I was going to get hit there. Oh, I was so close. I caught your sword and I was like, I'll just stabby stabby. This is when our. Oh, we, we got through the warm-up time, so our bodies oh. were finally, like, Did moving. I hit your head there? Oh, you yeah. hit my head, and I went for your leg. On the GoPro, you can really see it, the, like, amount of force that a head hit takes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even move my leg at all. One thing interesting about sharing the leg guards is one of the leg guards is on the, has to be on the wrong foot. And you can tell my leg guard is facing the wrong way. Unless, unless you can see that you're doing a lot of uh, quick jabs because you like to you like to do those like long snipes on me But I've, I think I've finally gotten used to them. So you don't you didn't land a whole lot of them on me uh, this time around Yeah, one thing we've noticed about fighting with gear on is we swing a lot harder Yeah, I, I don't have enough wrist mo uh, mobility with these guards. I might have to I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to get smaller ones uh, But because I don't have the wrist mobility, I can't generate uh, power through millinets so easily, so I have to actually bring my arm into the cuts instead of being bendy like I usually am. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's Dang. such good form. I was so happy with it. I was just like, die, arm. But I didn't bring the sword up further after I hit you, so you just nipped me in the shoulder. And it's so hard to see that I got a hit off. It was a lot, a little bit more substantial of a hit than... Oh yeah, it was a good hit. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is another dust sack technique. I don't know if they're in the Saber manuscripts, but it's, uh, it's a simple one. Um, all I did was take the blade from the right side of my body, around my head to the left side, and whip it out. And we, do, we don't do that a whole lot when we spar, so it's just one of those little sneaky things. Feels good. Has a lot of power behind it. I like um, holding the blade on that side. I, I worry about getting hit in the arm, but I feel like if you went for my arm there, I would just nail you in the head. Let's see, when mm -hmm. I'm holding it across my body, it feels really powerful. Yeah, this this hit trade on me, you actually got me in the armpit. Oh, look at the bend on that blade. Oh, yeah. On that one, I, I got you with a... It, it was t technically a double, because it was in the same movement. When you watch it in slow-mo, it looks like an afterblow. But your hit was definitely way more damaging than mine.
I love those arm guards. I love the Gamson, man. I'm so happy it came in. It looks so nice. It looks so, like, proper. It does. It made my posture better. I don't know why. My whole posture got better. You fight how you look. You look like a prince. You're gonna fight like a prince. Mm. Like a whiny little baby. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, it hurts. It still hurts. Oh, it's so beautiful, though. Yeah. Yep. Mm, it still hurts. There's a very loud ding. I don't think if it made that ding, we would have stopped. No, I felt I felt it immediately. I knew exactly how. My sword felt lighter after that. I heard the break and before I saw it fly off. And that's why I check my saber. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. We really appreciate it. Uh, let us know if there's anything you'd like to see in the comments below. And we'll see you next time.